Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Here to talk about a frequently asked question. Can you take cephalexin, the antibiotic cephalexin, together with Tylenol or ibuprofen? First off, uh, there are no interactions between Tylenol and cephalexin that have been noted in the literature. Tylenol, the active ingredient, is acetaminophen, so you want to... Uh, watch for that on the labels of over-the-counter products that you're using with cephalexin. Um, the combination products are where we really need to watch. There's a lot of cold and sinus preparations that already have Tylenol in them. So you want to be cautious that you're not taking Tylenol and those other products as too much Tylenol can cause serious liver problems. So that would be the one thing you really want to watch for. Watch for acetaminophen. Uh, in products, cold and sinus products. Always follow the package instructions and do stop and talk to the doctor or pharmacist if you're uncertain. You can take um, the box of medicine that you're using to the pharmacy counter. Oftentimes the pharmacist will uh, take a moment to look through and make sure there are no issues with the product you want to use. What about uh, ibuprofen? Also sold under the name brand Advil or Motrin in the US, there is also no interaction between ibuprofen and cephalexin. However, you want to be cautious with ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, really good for fever, for aches, pains. However, if you have a history of uh, stomach bleeding or of ulcers, ibuprofen could worsen that. Uh, also, heart issues or high blood pressure Ibuprofen can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke in certain people. So we really need to be careful if you have any heart issues, heart problems, really kind of you want to run that by your doctor before you use that. But it does not interact with cephalexin. Just reach out to the, your health care provider. Make sure that it is all right for you to use that product if you, if you have any of those health conditions. Sometimes used very sparingly, it's all right, but it's recommended you not use ibuprofen or any of the NSAIDs in the first year after a heart attack because uh, it can be very dangerous for you. So just keep that in mind as you're picking out over-the-counter products. Uh, I do appreciate you watching this video. Again, uh, I can't stress enough, you always need to check with your doctor if you're at all uncertain about which medications can be used with your prescriptions, with your health conditions. Uh, just a few moments could really save you a lot of serious side effects. Uh, go ahead and ask questions in the comments below. And if you find videos like this useful, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you for watching.